All right. The chat GPT GPT store is released, but that's maybe not even the biggest piece of news that just came out from OpenAI. All right, let's quickly talk about it. What's going on, y'all? My name is Jordan Wilson, and I'm the host of Everyday AI. Everyday AI is a daily live stream podcast, free daily newsletter helping everyday people, not just keep up with what's going on with generative AI, but how we can all actually use it and get ahead, grow our companies and grow our career. So if this is helpful, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, also subscribe to our newsletter as well. All right, let's do a very quick walkthrough of what is new at ChatGPT and with OpenAI. So first, we already talked about it. We added a whole episode today on the new GPT store. So uh, it's pretty easy to find once you log in, it actually should redirect you there. Uh, the access is a slow rollout. I think most people have it by now, but if you don't, log out, log back in, log in in the incognito, and you should have it. So all you're gonna do is click Explore GPTs. Keep in mind, uh, it's very slow right now. ChatGPT is extremely slow uh, because this new feature, everyone wants to go check it out. So here's kind of some of the highlights of the GPT store. So uh, you can go through and look at different categories of kind of these handpicked or curated uh, apps. So similar to an app store for iOS, this is a pretty big deal. This is the first time uh, that OpenAI has done something like this. And uh, a lot of people, myself included, think that this could be the first big step uh, to kind of the future of how people work. So going in here and think of all your different tasks that you have, having a custom GPT for all your different tasks. So uh, you can go and see the top picks from OpenAI. You can click here. Uh, these are ones from Dolly, writing, productivity, etc. So it's very simple to use this. All you do is you go and you find one. And let's say, uh, let's look at productivity. Uh, let's say I want to use slide maker. Uh, so, or no web pilot, let's use web pilot. So literally all you do is you click it, it brings you to a new tab and you start, right? Uh, so you can just, you know, right here, I'm just going to, I'm going to click this starter. Um, and it goes, so you can use any GPT just like that, that simple. Uh, before you kind of had to, you know, search through these unofficial directories or, you know, kind of find someone that that knew of where these GPTs are. But this is the first uh, official and public uh, kind of store for these GPTs. All right, so let's take a look at some other things that are new. I'd say what's maybe even bigger than this is the Teams is now available. So uh, you might notice that if you upgrade to Teams, all your chats look like they're gone, but they're not. Don't worry. So you just have to go to your personal account. So uh, the account that you originally had, you still have all that ex all that information, but now you can toggle between a personal and a team account, and then you can bring other people in on your team. So it makes it much easier uh, to share chats, to share training, to share GPTs. Uh, it makes it all so much easier with the team account. Uh, it is a little bit more expensive. It's $10 more a month, so it's $30 per user per month, uh, but I think it's worth it. Uh, you you get access to, to newer features sooner, but the ability to, um, you know, not just share chats is huge between your, your team, but also the other thing that people aren't talking about is you get now more messages. The message cap is doubled, right? So before you only had 40 messages every three hours, now you have 80 messages every three hours. All right, that's not the last thing. There's actually one more piece of kind of uh, news with ChatGPT. So uh, seeing this here, this is from uh, Logan, who is the developer relations at OpenAI, sharing this on Twitter. But uh, ChatGPT is starting to learn from other chats. So there is actually not a lot of information out about this, aside from this screenshot that says you can keep the conversation going. Your GPT will carry what it learns between chats, allowing it to provide more relevant responses. It improves over time as you chat. Your GPT will become more helpful, remembering details and preferences, and manage what it remembers. Your GPT has been designed to follow your instructions in chat. You can reset your GPT memory or turn this feature off in settings. So I'm not sure where that's been rolled out yet. Maybe it's only going to enterprise accounts. I'm not sure. We have a team account uh, here at Everyday AI. We don't have access to it yet. Uh, so I'm sure we'll see some more details on that in the future. So uh, although the big the big news here is is probably the GPT store, I am just actually as excited about these two other pieces. Uh, all right, that's it for today's AI in five. I hope this is helpful. Please go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for that free daily newsletter, and we'll see you back for more.
AI in 5 with Everyday AI. Thanks, y'all.